In this lecture, you'll be learning how to enable automated backups for your database. So initially, when we are creating our database instance, we, we disable, disable the, the backups, backups by setting the backup retention period to zero. zero. So now we need to enable it. So from the RDS console, select databases. If you observe carefully, I now have three database identifiers. So the new identifier is an express version which is utilizing the free tier and there will be no additional charge once you stay in the free tier threshold. So select the database identifier and then select modify. Scroll down to additional configuration and under the backup section specify your retention period. This will be dependent on your organization policy. So for now I am going to enable two days. Specify a backup window and remember your backup window cannot overlap with your DB maintenance window. Whenever you are saving the change it will scream at you. So I am going to change the current start time as 6.30 UTC. Keep in mind that you need to convert from keep in mind that you need to convert from UTC to your respective time zone. So I am going to say I am going to start at 6.30 UTC. And for the duration, this will be dependent on the size of your backup. So this is a very small database, so half an hour should be sufficient. For additional disaster recovery to the current region, you can enable replication in another AWS region. So keep in mind that if you enable this option, there will be additional charges. So if you select backup replication, you'll be able to choose your destination region as well as your replicated backup retention period. So I am going to disable this option and ensure your maintenance window does not overlap with and ensure that your backup window does not overlap with your maintenance window. Then select continue. Here you get a summary of the modification, the attributes that will be changed, the current value and the new value. So my backup window will be changed from 642 UTC to 630 UTC. So I am going to apply immediately and then select modify database instance. So under the status tab, my database is being modified. So once your retention period is set and automated backups start going through, once you check under the automated backups, you should see a list of database backups. So this is my first database backup. In the next lecture, you'll be learning how to create a manual snapshot of your database instance.